What's good YouTube, it's your main man Coding Worm and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an endless runner in Godot. We will be working in Godot 4.3 and only Godot 4.3. You will see why shortly. By the end of this video you should know how to do an infinite scrolling background, a jumping character, and a restart button. Start off at a parallax 2D node. This is the new node that is exclusive to Godot 4.3 which is why I said earlier this tutorial will only work for this version of Godot and future versions because it is listed as experimental. You can get scrolling effects using the existing parallax nodes but this one is a lot easier and simpler to use. So go to the Parallax 2D Nodes Inspector tab, click on the Repeat drop down, and then go to Repeat Size, and set the X axis to 1150. This will make any child nodes loop in the same position giving us the scroll effect. Now set the Auto Scroll to minus 300 on the X axis, and then finally set the Repeat Times to 2. You can add a text direct for the background, or just drop an image or something. I'm just going to use the Godot icon. Now you want to add a Mesh instance. This will serve as your platform and a static body under that and give it a collision shape that fits your mesh. Leave a jumping distance between the platforms. Now when we run the scene, you see the background is automatically scrolling. Now we want to add characters that jump from platform to platform. Go to the root node and add a character body 2D. Give it a mesh instance and a collision shape. That whatever mesh you would like, anything works here for the most part. Once you've got your mesh and collision shape done, add a script to the character body node. Use the default character body 2D template. This comes with all the basic movement options. For this particular scene, we only need one of the movement options, which is jumping. So I want you to either comment out or delete the left and right input functions. We only need the jumping because the background is already already scrolling so no extra momentum needs to be added. Now when we run the scene we have a character that jumps from platform to platform. Next thing we need to work on is what happens when the player falls between the platforms. To set this up go back to the parallax 2D node and add an area 2D as a child. This is going to be an area below the platform so make sure the collision shape you assign to it doesn't touch any of them. Also make sure the collision shape takes up the space between each platform. Each collision shape should mirror each other to where they are touching and now you want to attach a script to the root node of your scene. This is so that we can and send an on area body 2D entered signal from the area 2D node to the root node. In the script under the signal, set the parallax auto scroll property to zero. When you are setting the value of auto scroll, be sure to specify on which axis. And you would do this by putting dot x at the end of the property. And then you can assign it a value. Now, if you don't do this, the editor will throw you an error. And for the final thing we're going to do, we're going to add a restart button. So go back to the main scene and add a node 2D with a button for a child. Give the button text that says restart and center it, or place it somewhere visible to the player. Go to the restart button signals and connect the press signal to the main script. Then write a get tree function and call to reload the current scene. Now when we run the scene we see the restart button. And if you press on it the scene reset. Now we don't want this restart button to be visible unless the player falls between the platforms and dies. So set the visibility of the button's parent node to false. And then under the area 2D signal that we set from earlier set the visibility of the restart button to true. Now whenever the player falls between the platforms the restart button will become visible and they can restart. And that's it for the infinite runner. Let me know if you found this tutorial helpful comment any tutorials you would like to see in the future have a great rest of your day and i'm out of here